you know that 2,549 children between the ages of 0 and 19 have died from gunshots and an additional 13,576 were injured? Firearm deaths are up and have overtaken traffic fatalities. And according to the Georgia Department of Public Health and the Institute for Highway Safety, gun deaths have overtaken tra traffic fatalities. And it began in the year 2011, where they were even, but then in 2012 and 13, they have overtaken them. There are also firearm deaths that are up per state, and that's per 100,000 people. And I find it amazing that Alaska had the most, whereas 19.8% per 1,000 people in Alaska. That was amazing to me. Today I'm going to give you some facts and statistics and I hope a little help on gun safety and hopes it'll educate you. I can speak about this because I know firsthand the dangers of not knowing for my son lost his life to a gun accident. I found lots of facts and statistics from the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. So today I'm going to talk about gun safety and the importance of it. Let me start by giving you a few facts about the dangers of mishandling guns. Guns in the home. People who report firearm access have a higher risk of an incident happening than those who don't have a gun. Per se, de domestic violence. When a couple have an argument, one would think, oh, I have a gun. I'm going to settle this. Instead of talking it out or cooling down, they'll go get the gun and someone ends up losing their lives. And the majority of the incident involving deaths are children that are related to the parents or someone in the home that has a gun. Which brings me to my next topic about safe storage of firearms. 31% of accidental deaths caused by firearm may prevent it with two devices, a child safety lock and a loading indicator. More than 75% of these children are first and second graders that know where their parents keep the firearm and 36% of them have admitted to handling it. So this comes from parents letting them children see where they're putting them, putting them in a shoebox and just putting it on the shelf. Children are going to have, get the best of their uh, curiosity, going to get the best of them, and they're going to go and look for that gun because they saw where the parent had it and they saw where the parent put it. And then something may happen. So we want to keep our guns unloaded and locked up. But also never let your children know where you are keeping them stored. Next, I want to give you a few rules about gun safety. And I have a few of them listed here. These can be found on the web where you might want to go and print out them, print them out and hang them around the house for the kids to see and read over them with the kids and explain to them, you know, what's the safety of the of gun safety, the importance of gun safety. First of all, as adults, we want to get trained enough to be proficient with your gun. You just don't want to get a gun and go out and start using it. Kid, or easily hurt your own self. Never mix guns with drugs or alcohol. Of course, we know that's a bad combination. Never assume all guns are all never assume that all guns are not loaded. Assume that they are loaded, that way you'll be a little bit more safe with handling them. Never point a gun at anything or anyone you're not willing to destroy. Always keep your finger off the trigger until your sights are on the target and you're ready to shoot. Which brings you to number six, know your target and what is beyond it. You don't want to put up a gun range or somewhere you're practicing to do some shooting at and without it being an open field and nothing is behind you. You want to make sure nothing is behind it. Gun safety is critical to the safety of you and your children. I pray that I was able to enlighten you on gun safety because the importance and the knowledge of gun safety can save a life, maybe even yours. Thank you.